So today we are going to finish the door so we can uh, unlock it and lock it with a key. So let's just get into it. Uh, first things first, we're gonna go into our base interaction item uh, and we're gonna change some things like in the construct script. So we're gonna add a sequ uh, sequence and um, okay, we're gonna simulate the physics. And for the second one, we're just gonna basically uh, add the size of the item. So we're gonna get the static mesh and set world transform this one and this will basically set the size of it so we're just gonna break it and split that sorry and this should be the scale but we need the base transform and rotation so we're just gonna get our world location like that and get world oh shit get world rotation like that in. and uh, the last one is the scale with um we're gonna go into our structure folder, item info, and add a variable called uh, size. And it's gonna be a vector, the only way to change the size. So now in the ST item info, we're gonna get that, break it, and there should be the size. So just plug that in. And we're gonna have a just probably from this execute, we're gonna do from the static mesh set static mesh and we're gonna set this static mesh that we have in the item information so basically what it does now you can see now all the items are kind of grayed out they are all basically non-existent because in the base interaction in the st item info the size should be one one and one so that's the default size so now it should have the uh, normal size and if you don't see the item mesh or something like that, uh, there should be uh, this. So just have to change it basically. And the item will change. Now, I added this key mesh right here. Uh, it's in my Discord if you want to get it. Just a simple key. And what I will do, uh, I already created a child so you can go create a child. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And add all the attributes. Uh, I don't really have it, so for the key mesh, it's going to be key. And the size will be 3, 3, and 3. So it's a little bit larger, so I can actually see it and pick it up. But it doesn't really matter. The weight can be like 5. And the uh, stat type, it's nothing, so... Just, uh, and item class is BP... BP key. Item type, uh, none. And that's about it. So you can save that. Now we need to actually pick it up and add it to our inventory and stuff uh, as a key. So in the AC interaction system, we're going to have a custom event called uh, add key. Because how we are going to do it, we're basically going to pick up the item, right? Uh, pick it up. I don't think we have anything. Yeah. So this is kind of uh, a thing that I probably going to fix later on. Because I really don't like the interaction system for this inventory. But uh, we're going to add the key, right? And to detect it. So we're going to add the key using this uh, F interact. So if you double click on it. Uh, we're going to get item info, of course. Right? Plug this in. In the BP key, by the way. And right here, we're going to add uh, the key. And to do it. To call. Where is it? If you go into event graph. This custom event to call it we are going to go into content g core blueprints and core and there should be event functions and i already created it i'm just gonna delete it real quick so we're gonna create a function called get player and in the get player we're just gonna get get player character and we're just gonna cast some end the thing is you can use interfaces uh but this is uh, i think more viable and easier and we're just gonna have a return node and this pin will go into return node this will be player just like that so now in the bp key we can do get player that should be this event functions add key bam plug that in and distract and plug that in so when you pick it up it's uh, going to basically do this uh, if i'm correct yep okay so it's basically gonna add the key and destroy itself so for the add key, for the add key, we are going to hmm, we are going to create a variable called keys, and this will be a text. So have it as a text and an array. 
So get that and we just basically get uh, gonna do add unique. So we're just gonna add a unique thing to it. This will go into the input. So this will be key ID. Let's have a variable called uh, has key boolean a single and this will be true. Click on the keys, right? The array that we created, and I add the array and call it uh to uh, just to not delete because some for some reason it doesn't work for the loop because there's no elements in it, so we just have one basically. Just do not delete. And that's about it for this one. And now in the BP door that you can just click on the door, go to it. And in the event use, we're gonna have a branch and just promote the condition to locked. And so if it's false, it's gonna open and close. But if it's true, it's gonna check if we have a key. So gonna have a custom event, check key. Let's go into the true, so check key, just like that. And right here we're gonna basically get the player once again and keys or get and we're gonna get the AC uh AC stat system. Just get get no AC interaction system. Uh, if you don't see it, just click on some random function, it should just bring this up. And keys, so get keys or loop plug that in and if that equals to the door key so we need to create a variable called key id uh, so and this will be instance editable so we can edit that and that's gonna be just a text so plug that in uh, branch and before that we're gonna have a delay of two seconds because that's I don't know why it just works like that. And we're gonna create another function below it called custom event unlocked door. And right here it's gonna be unlocked. Uh, we're gonna have a delay and it's basically gonna open and close the door. So basically, this function I think. So you can copy it, open and on. Plug that in. And it's almost done, and when it's through, it's gonna unlock it. Bam. And now, what we are going to do, we're gonna actually need to add the key. So, right now, if you click on the door, right, there should be a key ID. I'm gonna set it to one. Uh, another thing, we have to add instance editable, the locked. So, plug that instance editable. And by, de uh, by default, it's gonna be locked for now. So if we, for example, try to open it, uh, nothing happens. Uh, later on, we're gonna add the animations. So we can see, you will see how the key goes in, uh, unlocks it and how it's gonna shake when it's locked. But now we need to actually add this key. So if we pick it up, it's gonna add it. So I'm gonna go to BP key, promote the key ID to a variable. Call key ID, instance editable. And now there should be key ID, set that to one. And if we pick it up, unlock it, you can see now we can unlock it. We can close it and do whatever uh, you want with it. I don't know why I didn't drop it. I did drop it, it's just super duper tiny uh, by default. So uh, I'm gonna change that to three and three. So it's a little bit bigger. So now if I drop it, you can see it drops. Uh, so that's yeah, basic unlocking and closing it. We have a little bit time so we can add the animation suit. So in the BP door, I'm gonna actually comment this out. Uh, so this is checking uh, if the key is valid. Yeah, uh, basically we're just gonna basically getting the uh, the keys right, uh, and for every basically every list or every index that we have it, we're gonna check if it's valid to the key ID. What is one, and if it is good, unlock the door. 
and for example if you change the key id to for example two right and if you pick it up and try to unlock it nothing happens because it's the wrong key so if you duplicate it and set this to one add like a image suit so this is the key two we cannot unlock it this is the key uh key one the right one you can see it unlocks and even if you don't hold it it's still going to basically do the thing if you want it to like hold then you will need to check if it's in the slot the key and blah 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 if you want it i can probably make it so now one more thing that we're gonna do is uh shake the door a little bit so uh of course let's comment this out uh unlocking door right below, uh right below it we're gonna do shake uh door shaking i guess this is we're gonna check if it's locked or not and we're basically going to have a timeline of uh, shaking door timeline so that play from start and we're gonna have an animation float called animation and this will be kind of weird this will be uh the length of 0 0.0 0 0.1 we're gonna have a keyframe that's gonna be 0 and 0 another keyframe that's gonna be uh 0 0 0.1 to 0 and two more keyframes one one keyframe will be 0 0.04 or value of 0 0.5 another one i'm gonna actually extend this uh, another one will be 0 0.07 of value minus 0 0.5 like a zigzag basically and now we're gonna lerp it or sorry make a rotator that's gonna go into the z value and from update set relative or actually have to get the door set relative tran no rotation yeah put that in and plug in the rotator and on the false we just basically gonna shake door or door shaking and when we unlock the door by the way we have to from the player or from the ac interaction has key or actually set has key to false just like that and now if you try to unlock it you can see it kind of shakes a little bit if you want the shaking to be more intensive what you can do is make the timeline the values of one and this one minus one it's going to be 20 uh, more intensive you can see it's right so uh, you, you're trying to unlock it but it's not working so i just grab a key unlock it bam you can close it open it you cannot walk through it if you cannot um, what you can do is um, going to bp door go into the door frame find it double click on it and there should be collisions complexity set it as use complex collisions and simple just like that if you play uh and if you real quick open it you will be able to walk out just like that so that's basically it for today